Hey, what's up? It's Lucas, and in today's video, I'm giving a very, very detailed answer to an awesome question about how much does it cost to start an online coaching business? And I'm gonna take it one step further and really give you some of the operational costs for when you're first starting. Now, this is not theory. I'm gonna be waving this iPad around in front of you because there's no way I can remember these numbers, but I actually went through some old books and really got detailed snapshots or snapshots of what this thing is actually gonna cost. Now, full disclaimer, we run a 60, 70, $80,000 a month in sales online coaching business these days. So our operating costs, employees, contractors, $2,000 cameras, wireless mics, fancy computers, iPads, probably $1,500 a month in advanced software for payments and, and, and calendars and forms and all this stuff, I'm not gonna be getting into that because it's completely irrelevant when you first start. And I wanna make that really, really clear. Don't let the fact you don't have the newest computer or the newest camera or the newest phone or the best of the best software stop you from starting completely irrelevant. So again, I tried to pull out the operational costs and the startup costs that are relevant to, if you're just starting, to getting to $10,000 a month. Things might change after the $10,000 a month mark because you might need more automations, you might need different kind of software, you might need people to help you, you might start hiring a team, getting contractors, this and that. I won't be getting into it. I'm sure I'll get into that in a different video at a different time, but for now, we'll keep it basic of what it does it actually cost to start. So if that interests you, stick around and let's get into it. So I don't know when this whole get a job, nine to five, play it safe, think small, and hopefully someday retire with enough time to maybe chase my dreams became okay, but for people like you and me, it's not. I'm Lucas Rubitz and welcome to The Coaching Channel, where I continue my mission of setting human beings free. Alrighty, welcome back. So like I said, I'm gonna be waving this iPad in front of my face here, but there's no way I can remember these numbers and I wanna give you some, a really detailed response. Really quick shout out, this question was asked inside our online coaching community. That's a free Facebook group of over 7,000 online coaches. I highly recommend you join it if you want first dibs and first access into the premium content we create, which by the way is premium. One of the responses I always get is, I paid for what you give away for free and that's the response I want. So if you wanna join the community, join the community. I'll leave the link around here somewhere or just check out www.lucasrubix.com Com. With that said, let's get into it. Okay, so this one's obvious. A computer and a cell phone. Yes, you need both. A lot of people sell the dream of you can run your business off your cell phone, and full disclaimer, I probably could run my business off my cell phone because all the infrastructure is built, but staring at a cell phone all day long, trying to message and email and do stuff is annoying, and I never understand why People try to sell the dream of run your business from your cell phone. I get it, I understand it from like a marketing perspective. Have a computer, have a cell phone. The awesome part about that is you probably already have one. You don't need the newest computer. I don't care if it's eight years old. Computers from eight years ago can easily run the software it takes to actually build websites, build funnels, do some email marketing, respond, message, more than enough, and even a cell phone from three or four years ago is more than enough to shoot the videos you need or the content you need once you actually start using content marketing. Don't let the fact you don't have the newest computer or the newest phone, or again, a fancy camera and wireless mic stop you from creating something that changes people's lives because it's not about that. It's about your message and the way you connect, and that's it. Everything else is secondary. So the awesome thing about this is That'll probably be your biggest startup cost, a computer and a cell phone. The rest, we're talking about 20, 50, 80, $100 items, and I'll get into the details here. Now, COVID-19 really broke my heart for so many entrepreneurs and small businesses. There's this grocery store I went to every day at lunch, the best smoothies in all the city, and they always had fresh salads and just this awesome little food bar that I got lunch from every day. They're closed down, they're boarded up, they couldn't handle three months of, of the overhead of their business and they went under. It sucks, but it also in a way makes me excited for the opportunity that the internet in the online space opened up. 
because you can run your entire coaching business on less than $200 a month. Yes, on less than $200 a month. Startup costs are just a few hundred if you have a computer and a cell phone. And if income fluctuates for the first six or 12 months, because it probably will when you're building a business, don't expect it to just be all daisies and rainbows. You're not put in this position where you have $20,000 a month in overhead. You'll get there. I don't know what we have every single month, probably about $30,000 in overhead, but we run a company with many moving parts. Eventually, you'll get there if you choose to. But if you just choose to make ten or $12,000 a month and have a lifestyle styled coaching business, beautiful. You can run it on just a few hundred dollars a month or maybe a thousand dollars a month if you hired part-time help on the side. So again, we'll get into the numbers, but that's the reason why I love the online space is it does not cost much to start and to run it. Next thing you're going to have is business registration, domain name, and web hosting. I looked forever trying to find what I spent registering my business for the first time. This would have been six years ago or something, maybe even seven. I couldn't find it, but I swear I spent $20 to register my business and I did it myself. This depends where you live, what city, what state, what country you live in, but I registered the government or the website asked me for three names. I sent in three names, they approved one, then I went with it, I paid my $20 or $30 fee, done. Now, if you're a sole proprietor, which I was for the first year, it basically meaning all the income and all the sales I made were just marked as personal income. It was fairly simple. I didn't have to do anything with that and I paid tax on my personal income on every sale I made. Nowadays, we're incorporated. It's an entity. It pays me, so my business is separate from me, but it wasn't recommended for me to do that. Again, check your state. I'm not giving legal advice here because this isn't what I specialize in, but it wasn't recommended until I hit about $120,000 a year and then it just made tax sense and then I incorporated the business, created an entity, it's got its own bank account, and it pays me every single month, so it's become an asset. It pays its own tax, I pay my personal tax, the accounting goes up for it, we need an accountant to once a month or twice a month to go in there and pay the government what they need and all this complicated stuff that I don't worry about. And also you're paying way more registration, you're paying legal fees every single year, so the price starts going up. Luckily, depending where you live, you don't have to worry about all of that. Cool, so expect to pay $20, $30 for your business registration unless you get some help with it, which might be like 100 bucks. Domain name, domain names are 10 to $20. I seem to buy one every single month because I get excited about something and then I just keep the domain name. Uh, 10 to $20 a month for a premium domain name. Now, if your domain is taken by someone, you'd have to Ask them if you can buy it and they can charge you whatever they want. $100 or $200 million if you're famous, they can charge you whatever you want for it. The good news is, if you don't already own your name, your first domain doesn't have to be that because the internet isn't searching for you. Don't let the fact that the domain, the exact domain name you want, is taken. Get something else, add coaching to it, add something funny to it, whatever, the real dot 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 com, whatever you want. It doesn't matter at first because again, we're gonna have to drive traffic to it. It's not gonna be getting organically found right now. Then you got web hosting. I just checked, I think we pay way more than this because we've got dedicated servers. But when you first start, HostGator is $5 a month for the baby plan, which is just a shared server. All that means is your website and your files are saved somewhere in the world and they're being shared by hundreds of other websites. So it's like a, literally it's a hard drive somewhere in the world as far as my understanding of it. And as you move up and your website starts getting more traffic, you can buy dedicated servers so now you own the entire hard drive and you get more support with it. Then you're spending maybe 50 or $80 a month for dedicated hosting, but right now expect to spend $5 a month and that's it. Don't spend more than that. Now this is the biggest operating expense. If you're trying to build an online business, you're gonna have to build web pages. Web pages, meaning landing pages, sales pages, about me pages possibly. And if you have coding experience, sure, you can do it for free. You can code on WordPress or even download some basic themes on WordPress and figure it out yourself. But time is money. And it really just comes down to the question of what is your time worth? Is your time worth $5 an hour? Because if it is, then maybe you can try to figure it out yourself and spend you know, 100 hours trying to figure it out to save yourself a few hundred dollars. But if your time is worth more than that, I highly recommend investing in premium software. The good news is $100 a month will get you the best of the best and your entire business is built upon that. 
We personally use ClickFunnels. I don't say that because we're affiliates for ClickFunnels. I literally love ClickFunnels. If they didn't pay me to be an affiliate, I'd still recommend them. I use them to this day. I use them from day one. They've been $100 since day one, and we still spend $100 a month, and, and we run our entire business off ClickFunnels. There's other plans you can get, but we use different marketing analytics and software. So the $100 a month plan on ClickFunnels is all we use, and I'd consider that the best of the best software. If you don't wanna use ClickFunnels or that's too much, again, calculate what your time is worth, but if you wanna spend less, there is software out there for 30, 40, 50 dollars a month. Sometimes you can get like 10 year plans for 200 dollars on some of this. It's just the support is far inferior and the user experience is far inferior. But if that's the route you decide to go, go ahead. But I'm just making a note here that 100 dollars a month is going to be on the top end for software and that's all you'll ever need. So at this point, we're at $100 a month, plus $5 for hosting, and a $20 domain name, which is just a one-time fee. So we're at around $125 startup fee. Not bad. Email list. You'll hear me say over and over that if you're building an online coaching business, build an email list. You own your list, you drive traffic to your list, and as you use YouTube and different platforms to build your list, Facebook can shut you down, YouTube can shut you down, you own your list. That being said, building an email list, there's software behind it. You can start on the free end of things like MailChimp, although I think MailChimp just started charging $5 a month for their basic, basic plan. It used to be free, but anyways, we're talking $5 or $10 a month, all the way to I think we spend $200 a month, but that's because our list is massive, and as your list grows, you spend more every single month. But I'm pretty sure we use ConvertKit, by the way. The basic software to start is $20 a month, and that's some of the best software. There are hundreds of email marketing software out there, so whatever you choose to do, go ahead. But if you're spending more than $20 a month, I'd question if you're spending too much or it's too advanced. So now we're at $100 plus 20 plus five, so $125 a month in in you know reoccurring costs. You had a domain name for $20. You had business registration. We're at around the $200 mark. That's literally it. The social networks, they're free. Calendar software like Calendly, it's free. We use an upgraded version of Schedule Once. I think it's 50, 60, 80 dollars a month. You don't need that at first. Your phone, it's a camera, it's good enough. We use a $2,000 setup with wireless mics and all this fancy Premiere Pro editing software. Do you need that when you start? No. iMovie or whatever you have on your computer and your cell phone is more than enough. We've got a five, six, $800 podcast setup with mixers because we run a top rated podcast. When I started, it was through my headphones. Then I removed the headphones, I bought a Yeti mic. You don't need any of that. I, I really dislike the way influencers talk about all this gadgetry. It's fun and I love it. And I'm always buying new gadgets and I'm always buying new mics and testing new stuff because I have the budget for it. But when you first start, don't spend your money on that. Spend your money on the actual framework of your business and then having cash on hand so you can keep growing your business. So just to make my point and, and take the point home and feel free to let me know your operating costs or anything that I may have missed that you spend that you wanna to add to this conversation. If you're spending more than $200 a month, I know that may sound like a lot when you're first starting, but just any business in the world, you've gotta invest. And an online coaching business is no different. That being said, the actual operational costs are much different. Then I had one final big word across the page, invest in coaching. Don't try doing this yourself. Again, time is money. You could spend 12 months trying to do it yourself and burn through a few thousand or five or eight or ten thousand dollars in 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 trying to figure it out yourself, and then the lost wages and the lost sales really starts adding up. Or you can find someone who's actually done it. I'm not saying that for you to buy anything from me. If you have another coach in mind, beautiful. You can spend a few thousand dollars like the Coaches University. It's a step-by-step -step game plan. You get all the support you need and we work with you until you get paid. Don't do it if you don't want and I'm not just adding this to this video to try to trick you into joining anything. I'm legitimately saying that you save a ton of time. You speed up your learning curve. You get support, you get the community and you don't have to do it yourself and I'm not being a hypocrite because I'm constantly investing in coaches masterminds, not just books because books are only $19 so we generally don't take action on books. I'm saying spending a few thousand dollars and actually getting the help you want and that's 
about that. Truly hope this serves. If you do wanna check out information on the Coaches University, I'll leave the link for that around here somewhere. Truly hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Let me know the biggest thing you got from this video in the comments below. And with that said, go start, go grow, go build, go scale your online coaching business, and I'll see you in the next video. So you learn a few things after selling over a million dollars of coaching in multiple different niches and the biggest lesson I learned is the hardest way to build an online coaching business is trying to do it yourself. And I don't know where you're at in your journey, maybe you're just starting and it's an idea and you're trying to figure out how do I put all the pieces together and start working with my first few paying clients or you've been doing this a while, you're working with some clients but you have no idea where your next client is coming from. I get it, it's stressful. I invite you to check out The Coaches University. If you'd like support in your journey, if you'd like accountability, if you'd like to join a group of committed coaches and get a step-by-step -step plan to take you from step one, nothing, to step 10, working with paying clients and the lead generation and the sales systems and the program delivery and actually creating coaching programs that your clients actually want to buy, then again, check out the Coaches University. It's also backed by your 10K guarantee, meaning we'll work with you until you make $10,000 in sales. And I mean that, we work with you until you make $10,000 in sales. So if you'd like the details, I'll leave the link around here somewhere. Check it out and I'll see you inside. So I don't know when this whole get a job, nine to five, play it safe, think small, and hopefully someday retire with enough time to maybe chase my dreams became okay, but for people like you and me, it's not. I'm Lucas Rubix and welcome to The Coaching Channel, where I continue my mission of setting human beings free.